What's up, everybody? Okay, so tonight for dinner, I'm going to be uh, eating this uh, Chicago's Premium Pizzeria. This is Home Run Inn Pizza. This is the Uncured Pepperoni Classic Pizza. Um, it's not a thin crust, but it's not a thick crust, if that makes sense. So, I got this from Meyer. Um, I believe it was like $8.99 or something like that, which is a really good price, because this is like the third pizza that I've had, and the quality is just amazing. Like, for real. Uh, you preheat your oven to 450. Um, let's see here. Bake 15 to 17 minutes. Now, I've learned with these pizzas, at least with my oven, um, you want to go on the lower end of the time. Usually, I go in between. But the last pizza I had, I think I baked it for like a minute or so in the middle. Like, it wasn't the full time. It was in the middle. And, yeah, it was pretty done. Like, I like a more... Um, cheesy pizza not a well done well well baked pizza but anyway um our pizza is partially baked and the cheese is melted covering the sauce um you'll see when i take it out of the box or whatever uh remove all packaging they want you to place it directly on the middle oven rack um which is cool with this pizza but the other pizzas that i've reviewed i reviewed a um not on here but i did a uh Screaming Sicilian for the first time, and it was a thin crust pizza, so the cheese kind of ran off when I took it out of the oven. It was a thin layer, so this one I can do that with because it's thicker. But I'm just really funny about like taking it out of the oven because you gotta like it's. I don't, don't want to get burned, so I just put it on a, a, a pan. So I'm gonna come back whenever I get it done out of the uh, oven. Okay, so really quick, I want to show you guys the pizza as it's now it's out of the packaging and everything. You can see, I guess it looks like it's been baked, but that's what they tell you, that it's partially baked. I've never had a pizza that was partially baked before, but it doesn't really um, make a difference as far as the quality or the flavor. Maybe it does, I don't know, but it's not a bad thing from what I've understood. Like I said, I, this is my third pizza from this brand. Um, I've had a sausage and pepperoni, a cheese, and then now this is the pepperoni. So far, I think my favorite one is just a plain cheese, only because the texture of the the sausage was kind of firm. Um, it had a good flavor. And then the pepperonis are kind of thin and like, I don't know how to describe them, but they're like thin. This is uncured pepperoni, if that makes a difference. I don't really know what that means. I mean, I'm sure I know what it means, but like if it makes any difference with the pizza itself. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to put it in the oven for 15 minutes and then I will be back. Okay, so the pizza is out of the oven. This is how it looks um, after 15 minutes. I'm going to let it sit here for like two minutes and I'll cut it or whatever. Um, I might eat on camera. I'm not exactly sure. Um, that's not something I typically do, although I probably should after doing a review. Um, yeah, so it smells good. It smells like uh, yeast, I guess. Yeah, it smells like, like doughy yeast, if that makes sense. It smells really good. Yeah, but the uh, pepperonis look thin. I don't know if that's because they're uncured or what, but I don't know. Meats on these pizzas have not really been my favorite thing, nor have they been like the star of the show anyway. So for that reason, like I said, I think I like the cheese better. Um, this one will, I guess, determine which ones I buy on the regular basis again. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to let it sit here for two minutes and then I will cut it. Um, matter of fact, it's only got maybe about 50 seconds left anyway. So um, I'll get my stuff ready. Let's see here, my pizza cutter. Got my handy dandy pizza cutter. Um, yeah, so let me see here. Um, this is where having a camera would come in handy because I'm on my phone. I use my phone to record. And sometimes, like, when I'm recording and I have my videos on pause, it's weird. Like, I'm scared to use my phone because I don't want the video to end, which is usually what happens. Like, if I get a call or something. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> also, um, I got the idea of the home run and pizzas after I watched uh, Tammy Dunn's YouTube channel. So, check out her channel and subscribe and all that good stuff because they've given me a lot of good ideas. So, the two minutes is up. You have to put the video on pause. I'm gonna try to cut this. Um, I'm gonna put the phone down actually on the. A little handy dandy cover right here so you guys can see it. So I need both hands to cut it. Let me get a 
pot holder because I don't want to burn my hands. So this is it. Um, can you guys see it? There we go. I can't get like I said closer because uh, I'm tr cutting it with like both hands or whatever. So yeah, just bear with me. Um, so how does it cut my pizza? If I'm just here by myself eating it, I'll probably cut it into like fourths or whatever, depending on how big the pizza is. Um, I would say that's how I do it for me, just me or two people. Like I just, I've seen people cut it in thirds and cut it in a half, but yeah, it's just I don't know. I don't really cut it. Like I just, I can't cut it sporadically. Like just crazy. I will if it's a big pizza, like a, a taking big pizza. Cause there ain't no way in the world you getting even slices out of them damn things. But anyway, so go ahead and cut it like I would normally cut it. Uh, let's see here. I'm very visual when I cut these things too. Like I don't know why it has to be even. I'm not OCD. I don't have OCD, but I'm meticulous if that makes sense with certain things selectively, I guess. Also, I hate cutting these things because sometimes you gotta. I have to do this in order to make sure it's cut and then I end up fucking it up. Come on. Like I can't get to that I'll be. There we go. I'll fix it later. Anyway, so I got it cut in half and I usually just cut it into fourths. Or whatever. Don't ask me why I cut it like this, I just do. I got that one to cut. No, did I get this one to cut? Come on. There we go, okay. So I got it cut in the forest. Um, it smells good. It smells like cheese. Now it smells like cheese, which I love. This is, like I said, the, my favorite part about these uh, brand of pizzas is the cheese, and it is truly the star. So let me get a plate. Um, Cause I cannot wait to eat this. I'm excited. If you guys have a Meyer anywhere near you, um, this is where I got those from so go ahead and check them out. I haven't seen them anywhere else and I have been looking um, I don't have a Kroger in my area. I'm in Ohio, Northeast Ohio, so I don't have a Kroger um, That I've seen There's probably one in Cleveland, but it's like a smaller Kroger and I'm not about to go 30 40 miles To go to Kroger like that's not something that I'm willing to do um, Especially when there's like two miles within what? 10 15 20 miles accessible by a bus one bus two bus yeah I'm gonna probably do two pieces now because I don't want to come back here for one piece at a time that's just stupid so here it is y'all this cheese I wish it had smell of vision but this cheese is everything y'all don't mind my pan it's old <laughs> it's not dirty it's just old y'all know what I'm talking about there's a difference um, so, yeah, okay, so this is, like I said, the pizza, this is the uncured pepperoni, I'm going to take it over to my table, and I'll try to set it up and do a little taste test, um, I'm really not camera ready, but I'm going to try to do the best I can with what I got, like I could use a shave, my hair ain't really that combed, I need a haircut, but that's another story, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed, <clears throat> I don't feel like this is cooled down enough also, but we're gonna try and do the best we can. My game on pause. Okay, so here's my pizza. I don't know if I can turn this around. I used to be able to turn this around a certain way. But for some reason I can't. Did it update my camera app? I just took a picture. Okay, so yeah, I can't turn the camera around, so apparently I'm stuck in this mode here. And if I hold the camera, then, oh, that's bright. If I hold the camera, then I can't really see what I'm eating. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna have to do it off camera. Like I said, here's the here's the pizza. I know this is gonna burn my day, the daylight side of my mouth because it's super hot, even after it's cooled. I wish I could turn this camera around. That's so annoying. Like. If y'all have a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, let me know in the comments if you guys are able to turn the camera around once you've started recording. Because, uh, yeah. Like I said, I used to be able to swipe. I figured it out. But I'm, th I'm thinking that's just like before you record it. I don't know. 
Meanwhile, my video is 10 minutes long and I ain't ate nothing yet. So, here we go. Oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. I can't eat it right now, nope, it's not. I'm gonna burn my mouth. I'm gonna burn my mouth. Um, you guys, yeah, so change your plans. Um, I'm not gonna be able to eat this on camera, unfortunately, because this is too hot. And like I said, I'm already 10 minutes in. And I really just wanted to show you guys, you know, visually the pizza and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut it here. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, go to Meyer if you guys are interested in this uh, pizza. It's called Home Run Inn. It's in a white box. You can't miss it. it should be in the frozen section. Um, if your Meyer doesn't have it, then try another Meyer. Also, go to their website or their app to check to see because, you know, they have it on there. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you guys on my next video. Sorry I can't eat it on camera for you guys, but peace out.